we had a case in Nottinghamshire that really demonstrates just how committed our prosecutors are to providing victims of sexual abuse with a voice. A young woman was raped in her own home whilst unconscious through drink. She'd been on a night out, drunk too much alcohol and had been put to bed. The next morning she found out that her housemate's friend had raped her while she was unconscious. Whilst this sounds really clear cut, actually proving it to a jury is much more difficult than it sounds. The defendant said that sex was consensual, but of course the victim couldn't tell us what happened in that room as she had no recollection of events. It's known that drunk people can lose their memory and in gathering our evidence, her housemate said that she had a history of drunken one night stands and that she seemed to be consenting. So all of the evidence was mounting to suggest that sex was consensual in this case. But this is why the victim's voice is so important. We spoke to the victim again about her sexual history and she was completely upfront about it. She said, yes, she had had drunken one night stands and yes, on some occasions she had regretted them, but they were her decisions made on her own terms and very different from what had happened in this case. Many legal experts also told us that this case was too difficult to take to trial, but for us, the victim's evidence remained the foundation of this case. We gathered evidence from CCTV that showed the drunken state she was brought home in and from her two friends who said that they put her to bed in the recovery position. But above all, the victim gave clear and compelling evidence to a jury and they convicted the defendant. He was sentenced to four years in prison. So whilst the defence had lots of evidence to use in this case, actually, by listening to the victim and giving her a voice, it led to the right outcome.